What's good, guys? This story is going to be about Grace Ross, who was six years old. She went missing on Friday of last week around 6.30 p.m. in the evening and was found roughly two hours later dead in the woods near her home. I want to thank my subscriber, Sweet Tea, for hipping me to this story. Uh, she let me know about it, and I appreciate you keeping me in the loop. And I also want to mention, too, that if anyone wants to contact me, I have my email at the end of every video. So, it's flashing on the screen at the end of every video. Now, this is coming out of Indiana, and this came out early this morning. Brutal End. Grace Ross, 6, died from asphyxiation before body dumped in woods as a teenage boy, 14, is in custody over her death. A six-year-old girl allegedly died from asphyxiation before her body was dumped in the woods, as a 14-year-old teenager is in custody over her tragic death. Grace Ross's cause of death was revealed as homicide by asphyxiation in preliminary autopsy results. It was reported on Monday. Here's another picture of Grace Ross when she was younger. The sweetest face. The St. Joseph County Prosecutor's Office revealed further test results from the autopsy are pending, according to CBS Fox affiliated television station WSBT. The body of the six year old girl from New Carlisle, Indiana, was found dead at a about 8.25 p.m. on Friday. Her body was discovered in nearby woods less than two hours after she was reported missing by her family. Following her death, a teenage boy, 14, who was not named because he's a minor, was arrested. He is considered a prime suspect in her death. That's another picture of Grace Ross. Hmm. And here she is on the playground. According to the news outlet, it was determined during a Monday court hearing that the 14-year-old will remain in custody and is scheduled for another hearing date on March the 22nd. The investigation into Grace's death is ongoing, and an autopsy was scheduled to have taken place on Sunday, the South Bend Tribune reported. An obituary by the Palmer Funeral Homes in South Bend, Indiana, paid tribute to the young girl, a student at Olive Elementary School in New Carlisle, and remembered her as, quote, the light in the room, end quote. This is the actual obituary. Grace was born on October the 1st, 2014, in South Bend, Indiana. She is survived by her mother, Michelle Ross, and her stepfather, Matthew Penn of New Carlisle, her father, Timothy Howard Jr. of Westville, Indiana, paternal grandmother, Kelly Howard of South Bend, maternal grandparents, Christina and Donald Ross of Michigan City, Indiana, maternal great-grandparents, Harold and Shirley Ross of Bremen, Indiana, paternal great-grandmother, paternal great-great-great, Linda and Grandpa Rick, Jessicki of LaPorte, step grandparents Henry and Pam Pim of LaPorte, TT is her aunt, Nicole Ross of Michigan City, Uncle Donald Ross the second of Michigan City, Uncle Eric and Rebecca Ross of Chicago, Uncle Daniel Penn of LaPorte, Honorary Aunt and Uncle Christine and Matt Balding of South Bend, Cousin Josephine Ross of Chicago, and Cousin Maya Penn of LaPorte. She was a student at Olive Elementary School in New Carlisle. She was the light in the room, the brightest flower in the vase. She could change her mood from bad to good and from good to great. She was friendly, outgoing, kind, cheerful, and one of a kind. In short, amazing. She was loved by all and will be missed by many. Visitation for Grace will be on this Friday coming up, March the 19th, from 4 until 8 at Palmer Funeral Home. Gussinger Chapel, 
on Michigan Street in South Bend, and the funeral will be Saturday, March the 20th at 11 a.m. Private burial services will take place at a later date, and you can make your online condolences at Palmer Funeral Homes, and I will link that in the description box. This is another picture of Grace Ross. Hmm. Such a sweet face. A neighbor who has lived near the family for 40 years said the community was shocked by Grace's death. Kim Huston told WSBT, quote, right at your back door, you just don't anticipate anything like that ever happening in your area. You don't realize in a moment's notice, somebody realizing that their child's gone and then have to hear that what happened at such a young age is horrific, end quote. Grace's aunt, Nicole Ross, set up a fundraiser on Facebook for funeral expenses, which has raised more than $29,000 as of this morning, very close to its $30,000 goal. Nicole wrote, quote, My darling six-year-old niece, Grace Ross, passed away yesterday. She is now an angel in heaven. This is pictures from the memorial or candlelight vigil, which was held on Sunday evening at Memorial Park in New Carlisle. Mm. A candlelight vigil was held at Memorial Park in New Carlisle yesterday evening where friends, families, and neighbor, family and neighbors gathered in Grace's memory, ABC 57 reported. Michelle Ross, Grace's mother, said at the vigil, Grace was loved by everybody and she was friends with everybody. She would go up to a stranger on the street and be like, Hi, I'm Grace and I'm six. Tara Bush, the principal of the elementary school Grace attended, said, You could tell she was smiling all the time. More than 200 people came along placing candles, flowers, and stuffed animals in a gazebo and on park benches. Grace Ross's school district also released a statement on the community's, quote, tragic loss, end quote. The superintendent said, quote, Our school district and school family has suffered a tremendous loss. This past Friday evening, one of our fellow students in kindergarten at Olive Elementary died. The circumstances of the student's death are under investigation. Local police have arrested a suspect and have them in custody, end quote. It says funeral services took place on the morning of March the 20th, but March the 20th hasn't taken place yet. However, burial services are planned at a later date. Let's watch the video that goes with this story. Developing tonight, the city of New Carlisle still in shock after six-year-old Grace Ross, who was initially reported as a missing child, was found dead in a wooded area Friday night. ABC 57's Allison Zeihammer joins us now with more on that heartbreaking story. Allison. Yeah, Tiffany, a new Carlisle is described by community members as a safe and quiet little town. So when the community heard the tragic news about Grace's death, they were left in complete shock and knew they needed to do something about it, whether they knew her and the family or not. This was the scene Friday night. Police searching for a missing six-year-old child, Grace Ross, in New Carlisle. That search ending tragically a few hours later when police found the little girl dead in a wooded area near Chapman Street. Probably the reason why I moved out here was because it's a small, safe town. Just devastated. I mean, tons of emotions. Um, extremely sad for the family, friends, classmates, community. Grace loved to play dress up as the Disney princess Elsa and had just entered kindergarten this year at Olive Elementary. In a message to students and families in response to her passing, Superintendent Dr. Paul White said, in quote, our school district and school family has suffered a tremendous loss. There will be counselors and local pastors available tomorrow for students and staff to talk with during the school day, unquote. Her tragic passing, touching the hearts of many in the community and even those who never met her or the Ross family. I mean, I wanted to help out. I wanted to help out the way I can. And, you know, so besides money, there's time. I wanted to give my time and 
try to bring the community together to support the family and uh, friends of this sweet Gracie. And Sunday night, dozens gathered in her memory. I mean, it was awesome to see so many people. Um, unfortunately, you know, for a sad situation, but, you know, the first responders were here. I mean, police officers, uh, medical responders, in addition to firefighters. There were teachers, principals, um, neighbors, friends, and then, you know, just other community members like myself that are just here to help. Who watched my hand corn? The community also supporting the family with donations, hitting the goal amount of $25,000 in just a matter of days to help with expenses. Family members of Grace denying requests to interview to give themselves time to fully process and mourn. However, Grace's grandmother, Kelly Howard, telling ABC 57 News that Grace was a beautiful girl inside and out. And you didn't really need to know her to know she was a special girl. I heard a lot of good stories, too. You know, I have people Facebook messages messaging me stories and I heard stories yesterday that you know just reminds me of my little girls and you know that's why it touched so close to me is I have kids around that same age so Gracie sounded like an amazing young girl and you know my thoughts and prayers are with her and her family. Now, a 14-year-old whose name has not been identified yet is arrested in connection to this case and is currently at a juvenile system. Now, the Metro Homicide Unit did tell ABC 57 News that they will be releasing an updated press release within the next few minutes, so really any time now. So we'll provide you those updated details both on air and online at abc57.com. Now, coming up on ABC 57 News at 6, I'll have more on this tragic incident and the community's reactions. Until then, live in South Bend, I'm Allison Zeihammer, ABC 57 News. Terrible, terrible tragedy. I'm going to end this story on that note, but I will be following this case. Uh, it says he has a court date on March the 22nd, so I'll be updating you guys on that. Thanks for watching.